Hi class, in this search demonstration, I will show you two methods for searching for news content from a specific news website, such as the New York Times Online. First, we'll look at how to do a Google search using a search command. Second, we'll navigate directly to the New York Times website and explore some of the search options there. Many websites have a search option, but if you don't, in those cases, searching using Google with a search command option can work instead. I've navigated to Google search and I'm going to do a search on Kendrick Lamar. In this case, I only want to find information about Kendrick Lamar that is from the New York Times website. Google has a lot of options for advanced search through use of search commands. Their URL is https www.newyorktimes.com. In order to tell Google that I only want information from that website, I will type in the site command. As you can see, in addition to my keywords, Kendrick Lamar, I have added site colon nytimes.com or site colon newyorktimes.com in order to filter my search results so they are only from the New York Times website. When I review my list of search results, all of them are from the New York Times website. Once I'm on the New York Times website, there are a number of additional ways to search for conduct, content. You can use the search option. The website menu options for sections. You can browse pages and follow links for suggested news stories. Etc. Explore the page to find out what you need to know. Once you've found the article you need, remember to capture the citation information you will need. Most online news sites do not include a citation generator. Instead, you will have to get the information you need for your citation on your own. One tip to help with this is to use the social media sharing options to get the link and some of the citation elements that are required. You can see I've pasted the brief citation information that I was able to capture from the social media sharing and pasted it into a Google Doc. However, the formatting is not correct, is not correct and not all of the citation elements are available. So it's a good idea at this time to go ahead and grab those details while you still have the article easily available. listing a news organization as the author so I can include that and then it has the date of the author here so I can include that we've already captured the title 
of the article um, from the social media posting. We already have the URL for the article from the social media posting, um, but we don't have the name of the website, um, which is the online news publication, The New York Times. So we'll want to add that those details in. So I've got all of the details, but I still haven't um, formatted them correctly. So at some point, I'll need to go back and check for those details to make sure that I'm getting all of the details formatted correctly with the capitalization of the letters in the title um, uh, and the rest of the um, uh, details and required formatting. Uh, once I've got my rough draft of the formatting like I do right now, I would want to proofread it using a source like the um, APA style guide from Purdue OWL's website or some other site that um, has information on using APA style. But that's the general approach that you want to take for capturing your citation information and then you have it ready to go when you need it when you're writing your paper. As a note, the New York Times has multiple online editions or different versions of the online newspaper. For example, you can easily access the Chinese or Spanish language editions. It's very common with national or international news organizations to have um, published, to have them publish different editions. This helps the news organization meet the different information needs of readers who speak a different language or live in different places around the world. Thanks.